How's it going? I am Evan Forbes, Canadian Hoser, and last week on Handy Hoser, we got a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, 4K. But we had an issue. This camera is a Micro Four Thirds. I have all EF lenses. Well, at least I thought I did. All my lenses turned out, they are EFS lenses. You cannot find an adapter to go from Micro Four Thirds to EFS. EFS lenses have a black extrusion at the back. It stops you from throwing onto a full frame camera. If you do that, you're gonna have a ton of vignetting. It's gonna be unusable footage. So that little black tip is just a little prevention measurement. Why does this lens work? That's an EFS and this one doesn't. Well, we had to do modifications and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Step number one, hack it off. I'm gonna recommend you take the sensor and the cap off, completely disconnect it because you do not wanna cut this sensor or any of the other wires. Now you're gonna come to a part where this little wire is gonna be in your way. Just pop it off from the motherboard. You don't have to worry about it. You can put the cap back on to finish off your cut, but you don't have to. I'm just doing so because it's gonna be a lot easier to hold. If you have a vise, that's gonna be even better. Now that you took off the extrusion, you gotta smooth it out. Now you want to piece the whole thing back together. Moment of truth. That actually fits pretty good. Works. Iris. Get down to a 2.5. That works pretty good. Now that's how you change an EFS lens to an EF. Honestly, very simple build, very easy. Do not lose those screws. Turns out you really need them. I found it guys. I found the screw finally. It took actually quite a while. Right, right, right there. Now I only really have two issues with this camera. I can't open it up all the way to 18 because the lens actually hits the speed booster. Slide this rubber off, throw a little piece of plastic in there, boom, you're good to go. It's not gonna go to 18, it'll get it around 20. Honestly, it's good enough. My other issue is this back is all open. Not really that big of a deal. It's always gonna be capped off. Or it's gonna be on the camera, but I want you to imagine you show up to a professional shoot, everyone's looking at you and you show up with this. Nobody's gonna take you seriously. This is the most unprofessional shit I've ever seen, but we do have a solution. You see, QSR Contracting actually provided us with a 3D printer. Now, QSR Contracting does not provide you with a 3D printer. What they do is provide the best contracting service. So if you're in Hamilton, GTA, any of the surrounding areas, give them a call, qsrcontracting.com. Frank's been with this channel since the beginning. Like, look at the first four videos on this channel, or look at the Christmas special. Give Frank a call, very familiar face. You want somebody familiar in your house, right? Give them a call, QSR Contracting. Anyways, what I was saying, since we've got a 3D printer now, we can print a new back off. So I designed this quick model, glue it on there, good to go. If it is an 18 to 55 you got, print this model off. Seriously, it's gonna take you 10 minutes. If you got one or your buddy's got one, 10 minutes isn't that long. Link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. I really don't know what else to say. Don't lose those screws. Take off, Yozers. Where am I going? Thank you.